Hey guys, so this is a really important lesson. It has to do with scales. Now, you've probably seen it, you know, when they give you a map, for example. So here's a big map. And then at the bottom here, they've got something like 1 to 10,000. Okay, this is what we're going to be talking about in this lesson. We're going to be doing quite a few calculations, measuring, all sorts of interesting things. Specifically, we're going to be looking at three different ways that they can ask you this. The first one is um, they'll give you the scale and then you need to find the distance, the real world distance. Okay, I'm not going to mention too much of this, it's going to confuse you, but we're going to get to that as we go along. So let's start with part one, where they're going to give us a scale and then we need to find the real world distance. Now, when I show you the next example, before you try to do anything by yourself, you need to listen to something very important that I need to tell you. My advice is that you don't try to do this by yourself because what happens is that this 1 to 50,000, I made that up, and that only works based on the exact dimensions and the zoom that I've got on my laptop. So if you watch this on a cell phone or a laptop screen that's different to me, it's not going to work because you're going to take your ruler and you're going to measure a longer distance or a shorter distance depending on if you are on a different laptop or if you're on a different, uh, um, like a cell phone, because you can see that it can zoom up. So for example, if I'm zoomed like that and I want to measure the distance from there to there, then if I had to zoom in, cool, let's quickly just measure that with a ruler, then it's going to look like it will be about five centimeters. But if I had to then zoom in, then all of a sudden we can see that instead of five centimeters, now it's like nearly, or it's pretty much nearly six centimeters. So the zoom has a big impact on all of this. That's why you can't try to do this um, on your cell phone or on your laptop and expect to get the same answer as me. So my advice is rather just watch how I do it and then when you are in an exam or if you have a practice map next to you, whatever they give you in the exam, it'll be the same zoom for everyone and so then it will work. You're not going to, one of you going to be doing it on your cell phone and the other one on your laptop. No, you're going to have a map in front of you and the zoom is going to be the same for all of them. Okay, so yeah, don't try to get the same answer as me. Um, just watch what I'm doing and make sure you understand. Okay, so we spoke about the zoom. That's really important. Now, determine the straight line distance from Golden Acre to Polvillay. By the way, this is actually an area where I live, um, where I currently live. Maybe in when, when you're watching this in the future, I might be living in like Egypt. I don't know, but <laughs> who knows? Um, but at this present moment, um, when I'm recording this, I live in an area called Somerset West, and went to a school called Paul Valet. And um, so any Paul Valet learners watching this right now, yep, I went to Paul Valet. So it says, um, determine the straight line distance from Golden Acre. Okay, so Golden Acre is over there to Paul Valet. Okay. So um, remember there's these little gray dots. That's where you start. Because some of you are like Paul Valet and you don't know where to start. Do you start in the middle? No, no, you start at the gray part over there and then the gray part over there. Okay, now they're saying the straight line distance. Okay, so we're just gonna go get a ruler and just do a straight line. So let's go get our ruler. Okay, now because my ruler is already on the page, I can zoom now and that won't change anything because my map and my ruler are both zooming at the same scale. So you see how it's going from zero to just a little bit more than four? Now if I zoom in, it still stays like that because the map and the ruler were already fixed on each other. So by me zooming in, there's not a problem. So I can zoom in just to get a better view. Uh, view. Now, can you see that it's going, you got to look in the middle of the gray circle. So it's about four point, it's between 4.2 and 4.3. So in a test, they'll give you a range that you're allowed to get, but I'm going to say uh, 4.2, okay, 4.2. But as I said, in the test, they'll give you a range where your answer is allowed to be. Okay, so that is 4.2 centimeters. Okay, so the map length is 4.2 centimeters. So, okay, now we need to try to figure out how far is that in real life because you're definitely not going to walk 4.2 centimeters. Um, I live in this area and I can tell you that it's probably over a kilometer away. So it's definitely not 4.2 centimeters. Imagine that's how far you walk. That's literally like not even a foot, like 
it's tiny. Okay, so obviously that is the map length. That is not the map, that is not the length in real life. So that's where we're gonna start using our scale. So what it tells us is that the map, this is your map, and then this is your real life. So it says that a one on the map actually means 50,000 in real life. So the real life is much larger, it's 50,000 more. 50,000 times more. So if your map length is 4.2 centimeters, then your real length will be 4.2 multiplied by 50,000, right? Because for every one, then it's 50,000 times more. So you multiply by 50,000. And that'll give you 210,000 centimeters. Now I should have said here, let's work it out in kilometers. Because... Yeah, you're not going to tell someone, hey, bro, you want to come to my house? No, it's not far. It's 210,000 centimeters away. I promise you that person's going to think something's wrong with you. Um, it's just a bit weird. Okay, uh, centimeters. Okay, so now we're going to convert. Now, Kevin, how do we convert from centimeters to kilometers? Ah, well, remember, a few chapters ago, we looked at conversions. And we looked at volume, mass, distance. Remember when I showed you that the main lengths or distances that we use is kilometers, meters, centimeters, and millimeters. And we said kilometers is always on the left, then this one, then this one, then this one. And what we said is that the numbers in between would be a thousand, then a hundred, and then ten. And what we've learned is that when you go this way, you multiply. When you go this way, you divide. Remember that? Uh -huh. So what we want to do now is we want to convert the centimeter length into um, kilometers, okay? So we're going to go to the left. We're going left. So when you go left, you divide. So we're going to say 210,000 divide by 100 and then divide by 1,000. Remember, you divide by all the numbers that you pass. And so if you had to work this out, you end up with 2.1 kilometers. Now that makes sense. That's, um, well, I mean, not everyone watching this lives in Somerset West, of course, my, probably hardly any of you, but um, you know, if you're living in a little town, 2.1 kilometers seems about right. Whereas mentioning 210,000 sounds a bit weird and it wouldn't be this one. This is just your map length. Let's do another example. Okay, so this will be our last example. Remember I said we're gonna do a part one, part two, and a part three. Remember in the beginning, uh, let me just show you, um, we said here, but I'm gonna split them up. So part one will be this lesson, and then part two and part three will come up in the future lessons. So here the one is to determine the straight line distance from hold of view, okay, so hold of view is over there, all the way to Erinvale Estate. Okay, so remember to use the little gray circles, so it's from there to there. So let's go get our ruler. Okay, so I couldn't get the ruler to rotate perfectly, but you can see here that I've got um, hold of you and then um, Erinville Estate. Ideally, I would have wanted my ruler to go through the middle over here, but that's okay. This is just for practice. So I'm going to zoom in now, and if we're to read off the, the length, it's going to be, um, so there's 13 and 14, so it's in between. So it's going to be 13.7, 13.7. Make sure you agree with me on that, 13.7. Now that is not the real, that's just on the map. That's just on the map. So map will be 13.7 centimeters. Now we know that one on the map is 50,000 times larger in real life. Remember, real life is always bigger than on a map. Maps, are, maps have to be very small. Um, for example, that could be a house over there, but in real life, that house is really, really big, um, or much bigger than that. I mean, not even an ant would live that. So what we now do is to get the real, we say 13.7 multiplied by 50,000, and that'll give us 685,000 centimeters. But now we want to give our, our answer in kilometers. So remember, we have kilometers, meters, centimeters, and millimeters. And in between here, we have a thousand, a hundred, and ten. When you go this way, you 
multiply. When you go this way, you divide. And so what we'll do is we'll just say 685,000. So we're going from centimeters to kilometers. So we're going to the left, so we will divide. And we'll divide by 100, and then we'll divide by 1,000. So we're going to say divide by 100, and then divide by 1,000. And that'll give us 6.85 kilometers. So there we have it. And then in the next lesson, we will go to part two, where we modify it a little bit and they ask us something different. And then in part three, they'll do something a little bit different.